I got an email from Oprah saying, what's your cell? <laughs> and I said, and I said, what's going on? And she said that uh, she had a conversation with, uh, with Bob Iger at Disney and, and, and she had recommended me for the Oscars. And then um, I had a great call with the team at the, at the Academy. And, you know, here we are. Wow. And it was interesting because we had met in previous years, but then this was the year. And I think the, the Oprah stamp definitely helped push it. Wow. It's like the greatest reference you could ever have. Like, you know, on a job reference, you put your mom and your best friend who you know won't say something stupid and your cousin who also has a good job. And like, but like Oprah trumps all of that. Of course, I always wanted to do the Oscars, but I did not expect them to all line up like this. Right. It's, kind of a, it's, a, it's a once in a lifetime moment. I think BT Awards was a jumping off point for a lot of stuff. All of a sudden people just wanted to know how we did it and you know what made us go that way and it was uh like the phone definitely lit up the day after that show listen that it was it was life changing to work on something so prestigious, so much history. Um, it was huge. It's a big show, a lot of responsibility. Um, and just to see how the machine works that uh, pulls that thing together was just, was amazing. Now to understand like how the mechanics of a halftime show work, it's not, it's not like anything else. It's going to be entertaining. It's going to be just everything we needed to be in this moment. Um, that's what we've been focused on, and I think that's what we're going to deliver. On your left, please. When the Oscars are over, um, we're going right into BET Awards. Oh. So, so I think I'm gonna go on vacation to my couch. I'm gonna take a strong nap, like a nice old, old person nap, you know, where like you say it's only gonna be 15 minutes and you wake up a day later. And then, um, and then we'll be writing the BET Awards.